see, let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing. Don't pretend about it. We are all sitting here peacefully. It will be good for you to visit Liberia. Visit Smolia. Visit Venezuela. Visit Smolia. And ask those people. I was in Libya. I was a friend of Gaddafi. I lived in Libya. Libya was paradise. Today, Libya is hellfire. 90% of those who led this anarchy against Gaddafi, they are all dead. Let nobody deceive you that there will be peaceful protest. It's not a peaceful protest. It's a call to anarchy. Have you read the 10 point demand? A change of government. It's a change of government, a change of constitution, a change of this. Is that demand for good governance? That is a coup. And we have to resist. All of us, yes, people have been hungry. This is not the first time. And nobody is happy that people are hungry. We are all working so that people, the burden on the shoulder of the people will be lifted up and will be carried away. The president has done this, the president has done that, the president is doing this, he's not doing that. When a government comes to power, we cease to be political party members. We cease to be PDP, we cease to be APC, we cease to be uh, YPP, we cease to be any other party. We all now have a party called Nigeria. Party Nigeria, that's what we are. And we must all walk. No religion says that you must pray for your government to fail. Anywhere you see a small thing for the government to fail, immediately you jump in. The government must fail. This government will not fail. This government will not fail. This government will stand. We might have differences. We must also tell those in government that if you are in government, you must not use your power in government to suppress the people and to cause anarchy. There are people in government say, now we day, now we go deal with you. You know if you deal with me. You know if you deal with me. Me, you know if you deal with me, I they tell you. Now me, they tell you, say, you know if you deal with me. So those who think they can deal with us, they should not spoil the government of Ahmed Bola Tinibu. Me, I know Ahmed Bola Tinibu. I have known him to his bedroom. And I know that there is no president that has come in this country that is like Ahmed Bola Tinibu. I'm not, all of you know me, I don't flatter people. In fact, I specialize in abusing people. So I don't flatter people. I don't. President Ahmed Bola Tinibu and Sam, Sami Imbuku, uh, Denis Otuaro, and others are people who were in the trenches with us. This is the first time a president that is one of us is in Asorok. And that's why we must support him. Because we know that he's dealing and interacting with people who do not understand what we went through, what we have. We have paid our price from June 12 to today. We have paid our price. We have gone to prison. We have been underground. We have been buried alive. We have every right to gain our respect. We are telling you, don't go. Look, what they want to do is to come here to blow pipelines, to intercept trucks, trucking, to intercept badging, badges. You heard what happened in Imo State yesterday, where they killed police officers. That is what they want to do. And we must resist them. We must not allow them to bring their anarchy here. Yeah. But 
If you get stronger, you bring down. If you get stronger, you bring down. I know Bitinibu, I know the government, I know the chief of army staff, I know the IG of police. If you do anyhow, you go see anyhow. Don't bring your protest here. This protest does not consign us. And anywhere where you are doing your protest, I did that you are doing your protest. I know that you are a threat to me. I will be a threat to you. That is it. I'm not going to romance my words. I'm not going to do CCCC with you. I am not a CC. My name is Mujayi Tokubasare, and I'm going to live up to my name, and I will stand firm. I'm not doing it because I'm a Belatinibu is going to give me anything. No, I'm doing it because I believe that if I don't do it, my life will be in danger. The life of my children will be in danger. The life of my compatriot, all of you who are here will be in danger. It is wrong for us to be part or even conceive these protests. Those who have lost the election should prepare for 2027. Thank you.